top of the morning to you. It is St. Patrick's Day and I am going to be trendy for once. Right now everyone's doing a I try to follow so and so's video. Um, so I'm going to do that and since it's St. Patrick's Day I am going to do Nikki Limo Limo I don't know how it's just that's her last name. Uh, she did Irish box D. So that is a potato dish. It's a traditional potato Irish dish thing. And that is what I'm going to try to follow along with on here and recreate that. So here we go. She's really funny. I like her. So make sure you have something tasty. Sometimes it works. Woo! One regular recipe. So she's saying the recipe calls for two recipe potatoes. Her potatoes are ginormous. And then it also says that in her, in the comments in her recipe that she followed, somebody did a uh, sweet potato, a purple sweet potato. Don't have that either. Yes, these are russet potatoes. How come hers are so huge? The russet potato she has in her hand is like at least two of these. So I'm thinking, yeah, cause she's holding it like this and her hand isn't covering all of it. I'm gonna have to use four russet potatoes to equal her two giant potatoes. I still feel like I'm lacking in the potato department, but that will have to do. So she's saying, wash it, rinse it, peel it. I'm gonna wash this and peel it and cube it. There were three drunken maidens. Come from the Isle of Wight They were drunk from Monday morning Nor stopped till Saturday night When Saturday night come around me boys They wouldn't then go out These three drunken maidens They pushed the jug about Then in comes Bouncing Sally where the cheeks is a so I peeled all the potatoes but only cubed two. Let's just get drunk and eat whatever is there at the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so we're gonna take our chopped potatoes and put them into cold water, a cold pot. A cold pot of what? What are we even saying? Pot of cold water for our potatoes. So, put the cubed potatoes into a pot and fill with cold water. Put it on medium heat. Bring them to a boil, she said, and then leave them for five to seven minutes. Boiling. Now I'm going to pause this because I'm in real time and my potatoes are not boiling. But once they are done boiling and then I leave them for 5 to 7 minutes, then she said that you are going to drain them and let them cool slightly. So I will let this cook and then see when I drain them. While those cook, I'm going to grate these other two potatoes. That is a bloom. Move up me jolly sisters and give your Sally some room. Then I will be your equal before the night is out. These four drunken maidens, they push the jug about. There was woodcock and fed. I'm pretty worried because my potatoes were so small that it looks like it's such a tiny amount. Hopefully, I can maybe. Our potatoes are so huge. Now I'm just waiting for those to cook for about five minutes. Um, not this. I ended up peeling another potato and putting it in there because I was worried. So there's a whole another potato in there. So I've got three potatoes cubed and boiling, and then two potatoes grated. How do boiling potatoes smell so good? I believe that these are done. Now I am going to strain these over the sink. And then she said, let cool slightly. So now to the potatoes she is adding. 
three fourths teaspoon of salt. Don't know why I can't say that. Putting that all up in these potatoes. One fourth teaspoon of salt or black pepper. Oh. Whoa, that's way more than that. Okay. Whoa, slow your roll. One fourth cup of milk. I'm gonna put these in my rice and mash them before I add the milk and stuff because I'm not gonna get it through this with all that. Ugh, like green potatoes. Now, one fourth cup of milk. One tablespoon of ground flaxseed. Make it rain. Spoon of oil, and she said it doesn't say what kind. She's going with grapeseed, I'm going with olive oil. I was just gonna mash them. So that means I'm gonna mix them all. Oh my goodness, that rice here did wonders. So I'm also noticing that, like, I would like some garlic in here. not part of the recipe that she's doing. It's probably a bit excessive, but... What's your deal? Oreo! Supposed to, to taste extra salty, like saltier than regular But I don't want to. That's pretty salty. It could be more salty, though. Let's make it a little bit more salty. Girl, this tramp was hot. So they're supposed to be really salty. They're not salty. Really at all, okay, which Ooh, I'm sensitive to salt, so I would know. So, so grate the potatoes and add a teaspoon of lemon juice to them. I don't have any lemon. Okay, and now we squeeze out extra moisture. We're supposed to use a paper towel, but I do not have any, so I'm going to bear hug these potatoes with my hands. Once we remove the extra moisture, we put the grated into the mashed. Mash said mix the grated with the mashed. Half a teaspoon of baking powder with half a cup of flour. Mm. We're gonna add that in. I'm pausing it to finish mixing the flour in with the potatoes. And then before I pause it, I heard her say you gotta get a skillet. Put some oil in it and heat it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that warm up and then we are going to shape some patties and drop them in there. But I am going to add some parsley and green onion to this to add some green to it. I did not hear her say what temperature to turn the stove to. I'll go back a little bit. Like See if I can like hear. Yes, she did not say what temperature. So I have it on medium high. Like, well, not high, medium high. Between medium and six. And then she said to put them in there and flatten them a little bit and cook four to six minutes on each side. I will probably go the six minutes if you guys know me at all. You know that I always go for the longer cook time. I'm going to use this. She uses a fancy scooper that I don't have. I may have put a little too much oil in my pan, but that's what they look like. 
I'm just gonna say I know for a fact now by looking at her pan that I did put way too much oil in my pan. Now they're flip, they're golden brown and beautiful looking, so hopefully that's okay. That I put way too much oil. I'll just continue to see what she says for after they're done. Okay, she's making an avocado ranch. I do not have avocado, so I will not be doing that. And then she's just putting the avocado ranch on her box days. So that means that that portion of me following her directions is done because I do not have the stuff to make avocado ranch. Like my shirt. I don't know if you can tell on there, but it's like a vibrant neon green. Then my necklace is green. And then I also had a emerald little head thing on earlier, but anytime I moved, it kind of just was so got a little annoying. How many of you guys drinking? Just because it's St. Patrick's Day, huh? Just for the record, when you cook these, you probably should not leave their side because, woo, not eating those. that made it through my cooking. I guess I will try this beautiful one right here. Mm. This is really good. It's crispy on the outside. Then it's got a really interesting texture in the middle. It's partially soft from the mashed potatoes. Then it has like, oh man, I don't even know how to explain it. Just like a good chew to it. These are so good. You have to try these. Creamy, crispy. All I can say is that it's so good. <laughs> I've made potato pancakes in the past and they never turn out right. Um, they're always really mushy. These are amazing. Mm. This is going to be my new way only of making potato pancakes now. These are called boxty. They're not potato pancakes, but they are potato pancakes, really. So, <coughs> in conclusion, can I follow... Nikki Lima, Lima. Nikki Green really is who she is now because she's married. So, can I follow her recipe? Well, yes and no. She did a great step by step recipe. Obviously, these turned out, they're amazing. Um, just the one hiccup of forgetting to tell me what temperature, which I burnt some of mine because I had them up too high. So, that, um, but she did great. Did I follow her recipe completely? No. So I guess I'm not the best at following recipes because I didn't have a paper towel. I didn't make the avocado ranch. I added green onion and parsley to mine. Um, and garlic powder. So I am obviously not that great about following a recipe, but I could follow her recipe. 
I just chose kind of not to. <laughs> so, in turn, yes, I can follow her recipe. She was great at showing me how to make these. These turned out great. They're super delicious. You should definitely try them. Super happy that I can have some kind of Irish dish today that's not corned beef and hash, or I guess I could have done like a vegan shepherd pie or a vegan Irish stew, but I didn't have the stuff for that. This was very simple and it's super delicious. So yeah, I am very proud of this and I'm gonna go make my significant other taste it and I think he's gonna love it. So um, try this, yeah, now I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Please stay safe. Don't over drink just because it's St. Patrick's Day. And please do not drive home if you have drank anything. Call a friend. Call a taxi. Walk your ass home. But be careful even doing that. So, I guess that is the end of this video. And I will see you when I see you. Bye.